before the video starts i would just want to say we are really really close to 200 subscribers so if you're not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing it would really mean a lot to me uh, also consider following me on my instagram it will be in the description of this video um so yeah if you want to support me at all do those two things we're really close to 200 subscribers it, it would be a dream come true honestly so yeah that's it enjoy the video what's up so guys, today we got another unboxing from Whatnot, and uh, I mean, I know the Whatnot week is over, the whole little series of videos I got doing, but for the time being, in this little in-between stage where I'm kind of figuring out what other content to do, I want to still pick up some stuff for you guys, and show some awesome stuff for the channel, and grow some of my stuff, uh, you know, get some stuff for the personal collection as well, so yeah, let's go through it. So I think first up, we'll go ahead and we'll talk about all the books that we got for free on Whatnot. If you don't already know, uh, on Whatnot, a lot of people do giveaways on there, and that gives you a chance to get a bunch of free books, and I just so happen to be a pretty lucky guy. And I have a whole bunch of books here. So first off, we got Spider-Gwen, uh, Shadow Clones number three, awesome Ryan Gonzalez uh, cover art there, awesome. We also got Uncanny X-Men 226, and I'll be real, I was happy to win this one. Uh, for free because uh, I do like X-Men a lot and that gets me a little closer to getting uh, 200 to 50 done uh, Here we have Captain America 18 looks a little bit more like a modern book, but free is free uh, We do have Excalibur number one here uh, from the I would guess early 2000s or 90s run right there uh, nice little Excalibur there uh, and then here we have Harley Quinn 75 awesome virgin variant here with Harley Quinn and Punchline. Uh, so yeah, that was all our freebies. Let's get into the real stuff. First book, book we have up here is a pretty high grade copy of a book from the early 70s. And right here we have Plastic Man number 13. Oh, I'm sorry, number 16. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, Plastic Man number 16. Firstly, I've kind of been like really in the Plastic Man as of recently. I really like all of his colors uh, or his covers, especially from the Silver Age. I just love them, man. They're just so cool, and this is no exception at all. It's just so cool. And I feel like Plastic Man is kind of one of those characters where a lot of people don't really collect him. And in this one specifically, there's only like 20 issues, you know? So I'm kind of thinking about maybe collecting that run. I don't know. What do you guys think? Adding a little side quest for uh, some Plastic Man? Let me know. Uh, but yeah, we have Plastic Man number 16. Awesome cover. Now, guys, you know me. I am a really big fan of female characters in comic books and one of my favorites is of course She-Hulk. I really really love She-Hulk and one of my personal grail books that I really want to get one day is of course She-Hulk number one for she uh, first appearance of She-Hulk. Um, but until then we're gonna get some other uh, cool She-Hulk books to get in here and we got some awesome stuff for I think we got all this stuff for co um, combined three bucks. So a dollar a book is pretty good. Right here we have She-Hulk number one awesome cover there. Uh, yeah, I also have a, a few other issues in this run, too, and, and to go with it, we have She-Hulk number two. I really like the cover of that one. Uh, the pink really pops on that one, and this one is now my oldest She-Hulk book that I have. It is Savage She-Hulk number nine, 50 cent cover there. This is a key to my knowledge. It is the first appearance of Ultima, uh, whoever that is. I'm not really sure who Ultima is. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below, because I do not know who that person is. Uh, I will say this book is kind of red. Um, there's a, a bit of issues with this book, but really the main thing that would really help this book is it just it's dirty. Like there's a lot of dirt and a lot of staining on it, especially like on the spine. There's just a lot. It almost looks like tomato soup, kind of. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah, that's that's the main thing. Besides that, it's a pretty nice presenting book. And uh, yeah, She Hulk number nine, Savage She Hulk number nine, awesome pickup. Next one we have here is a awesome cover that I've been on the look for. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of pink covers. I know a lot of people like to see different cover, uh, colors on their covers. And me personally, my favorite is pink. I just think it pops the most. And this one right here is no exception. We have Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths number 4 by David Nakayama. Awesome Zatanna cover on this one. Personally, I think David Nakayama, uh, Nakayama right now is kind of my favorite artist, honestly. Uh, he just does... He just hits it out of the park all the time on anything he does on uh, She-Hulk, on Gwenpool, anything, right? He just knocks it right out of the park, and this Zatanna cover is no exception. It is amazing. This is actually a New York Comic Con exclusive, limited to however many. Um, I don't know what number that is, but this is an exclusive here, and 
it's a pretty awesome one at that so yeah dark crisis number four awesome this book right here is actually a signed book uh that i think i got this for five bucks which is pretty good this book is really minty fresh i would say this has a uh, potential of being like in the high nines if I already get this sent out to CBCS but right here we do have Aquaman number one from his 90s uh, solo series and uh, if you see right here it is signed by Peter David who is the story writer for this Aquaman run uh, I don't know much about Peter David uh, admittedly and I have not read this Aquaman run or much of anything Aquaman honestly but it's cool. I think this is awesome. I think I uh, this is definitely a contender to be sent out to CBCS. Like I said, this definitely has a chance of getting in the high nines. Maybe not 9.8, but definitely could get a 9.6. Um, so yeah, awesome book here. Definitely a submittable copy. Now this one, I don't know anything about this series. So if you know, let me know. I got this just because I don't know anything about the series and I want to kind of knowledge myself a little bit. Get to know it a little more and have that representation in the collection, you know? So right here we have ROM number 75. Uh, I know the person I bought this from says that ROM might be a big deal later because they're doing like reprints or something of the old issues. I don't, I don't know anything about ROM. So if you if you are a ROM fan, let me know what it's all about. Maybe a little bit of a synopsis, uh, if you will. Also a nice high grade book, bit of a spine roll, couple of non color breaking ticks on it, but I mean presents beautifully, color, uh, colors popping all day on this book. So yeah, ROM 75. This one's a really cool one. We have Marvel Age number uh, 94. Is that? Yeah, 94. Marvel Age 94. Uh, awesome cover here. It's got a whole bunch of the X, well, a bunch of the X-Men kind of floating uh, through space. So yeah, that's cool. There's also an, an advertisement for Barbie, which my mom really got a kick out of that one. So yeah, awesome. You got you know Dazzler, Magneto, Wolverine, White Queen, Cyclops, Juggernaut. Everyone's here, right? Everyone's here. Uh, so yeah, awesome cover here on Marvel Age. There is one Marvel Age book in specific that I really, really want. I think it, I think it's number 50. Uh, awesome uh, cover with She-Hulk on it, and you know, I love She-Hulk, you know. So yeah, uh, if I can find that, uh, I would love to have that. But Marvel Age number 95, awesome cover. So these next stuff are actually a bit of a set, and they all go together. Uh, now this is in a big set. And I got this in a lot. We have the Marvel Handbook, Marvel Handbook of the Marvel Universe. What's the official name? The official handbook of the Marvel Universe here. And we got four uh, copies of it. Yeah. So we got issue, what is this? Issue number five, right here. Number seven, right here. Number nine, right here. Number ten, right here. And my favorite one, we got number 11. Awesome one right there. So yeah, awesome stuff. And one thing to note about these is if you were to get all of them, there's about 20. So I got like, I think this is, uh, this is five. So I got a quarter of the whole run just right here. But if you were to get all of them and you were to open them, it's actually all a huge connecting cover. Uh, so all these are, would uh, connect to one another, uh, which I think is pretty cool. But you'd have to open your book to do that. Me personally, um, I get scared when I open my books just because, you know, I don't want to damage them in any way. Um, but these are definitely super, super cool. Definitely a nice pickup, and I'm definitely encouraged to get uh, the rest of them now. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Marvel, the official handbook of the Marvel Universe, 5, 7, uh, 11, 10, and what other number? 9. So, yeah. Now, these next books are actually Mom... Uh, books that my mom got and she says they're for me but th these are hers books right these are her, her books these are books for her personal collection if you will um, so we have Gambit and Rogue number one variant cover as well as a Gambit number one uh, variant cover now if you don't know my, one of my mom's favorite characters of all time is Gambit reason being is because he was in the old uh, 90s cartoon and my mom used to watch that when she was growing up so yeah so she's a big fan of the character Gambit um, yeah so she had to get some Gambit representation in her collection uh, and another thing about my mom is she likes oddball type books you know she doesn't go for your conventional superhero books a lot of the time sometimes she will uh, but a lot of times she likes stuff like the horror or the old school science books or like the weird uh, magazines, you know. And one of her favorites is the old school romance comics. So we have 
about four romance books here from pretty old. I think all of these are uh, Bronze and Silver Age books. So pretty old books here. Uh, right here we have I Love You 82 by Charlton Comics. All these are actually Charlton Comics, uh, funny enough. So yeah, uh, cover right there. Let me know if there's any uh, romance fans watching right now. So we have uh, number 49 to Teen Convention, uh, Confessions. That is a Silver Age book. Awesome cover there. We do have Teen Confessions number 80, 20 cent cover right there. I think that one's my, I don't know if that one's my favorite. I think this one's my favorite cover out of all these. We have, what is this, Love Diary number 97. And there is no price tag on it, so I don't know when this is from. Um, but yeah, we have all of these books here. Um, awesome books here for the mom's personal collection. I know she says, oh, it's for you. Uh, I know it's not. I know this, this is for her enjoyment and her enjoyment alone. So, yeah, this is all kind of the, the haul, guys. Let me know what y'all guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think um, the She-Hulks are cool? What was your favorite book? You know, all that stuff. Let me know in the comment section down below. I love reading. Uh, check out for hopefully Monday's video, maybe Tuesday's video. I do have a bunch of books coming in uh, that are Silver Age books that I want to kind of group together as one big video so stay tuned for that one i'm really excited about that one personally uh so yeah this one up to you guys see you